Putting together your own MAME ROM set can be tricky, getting all those files in the right place. But there is a fairly straightforward process to get everything done and get those games up and running. So let me show you how to do it. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Getting MAME games up and running can be a bit tricky, especially if you're looking at doing a cut down set or just individual games. Now I have done a couple of tutorials in the past where I've tried to explain how MAME ROM sets are organised and then how to get individual games downloaded and running on your system. But some people do still seem to be having problems with that. So I thought I'd create this tutorial, which is really just going to take a couple of games that aren't working on my system and then show you the process of finding out what's wrong with them, fixing that and then getting, getting those games up and running. So we're going to be looking at um, various types of ROM sets and which files are embedded in them, um, how to find out which files are missing, and then looking at the idea of getting BIOS files, some helper files, and then one which does confuse a lot of people is this idea of the CHD file, or this chunk data file, which not many games use them, but the ones that do, um, you do need to find those files, and then they need to be put into the system in a specific way, um, otherwise um, MAME just won't find them and will just not run those games. So. We'll go through a couple of actual examples, show you how it's all put together, show you where the files are, and then take it from there. So when you're putting together your arcade system, it's best to start off on the right foot. And by that I mean making sure that your main application version and your ROM set version match up, because that gives you the best chance of having success as you start to put together individual games. So I'm going to use um, MU Paradise here um, for downloading some of my game files uh, and giving me access then to the ROM sets. Now MU Paradise of course doesn't at the moment allow you to download anything or at least it doesn't on the face of it do that. Um, there are a number of ways around that and um, although I can't give you exact details here on this YouTube video, um, do please have a look at the web page that goes along with this tutorial. Um, we're obviously on my main Bytes and Bits websites. I can I can help you just that little bit more. So do have a look at that if you're stuck getting hold of these ROM files. But the files in MU Paradise tend to be for version 0.184 of MAME. Now that does match up quite well with if, if you were building up a system then in something like RetroPie or, or um, using RetroArch and so on. Um, if you go across to there, you'll see that there are a whole range of variations on MAME. So in effect, we could be using our MU Paradise downloads to work with this LR MAME 2003 Plus. So again, do, do make sure that you check that the MAME ROM set that you're downloading will match up with something that you can use in the system you're putting together and, and so on. Get, getting it all lined up to begin with does really make things that uh, just so much easier. But for now then, we, we can, we've got our Aero Fighters 2 game uh, and we can download that ROM file then and, and put that into our, our computer. Um, we will obviously need then our MAME version. So again, for MAME, if you go to the downloads and previous releases area, you can of course get to pretty much any version that you want. So we could download here our MAME version 0.184. Now, if you are working with something like RetroPie and so on, where it doesn't give you really access to the main executable itself, even if you're going to be doing this on Raspberry Pi, if you are having problems getting games working, I would advise that you actually set up a similar version then on your PC, because it's going to be much easier to see what's going on if we can actually get access to MAME directly rather than going through a front end. And the same works for things like Launchbox and so on. Whereas if you, if you get a game that's not working, then obviously it just simply doesn't work. You don't see anything about it at all. Um, so do, do make sure that you get something set up where you can get access directly to MAME 
And as I say, if you're doing it on a, a some sort of single board computer and so on, then do set up a similar system so we can get all the ROM set correct and then just simply transfer the ROMs across at the end and we should have a working system. But I now have then, um, so not 0.184 MAME, I have Aerofighters 2, which is downloaded as a 0.184 MAME ROM. So let's go across and see if we can see if that works or not. So if I go into my MAME setup, so in my ROMs folder, I have my uh, Sonic Wings or, or Aerofighters 2 zip file. So I can come back out here. I can start up my MAME application. And let that boot up. So we're here in MAME 0.184. Well, I can see in my available games folder, I have my Aero Fighters because I've just downloaded that directly from ME Paradise. And I can then double click on that to see if that works. But for this game, we get an error message coming up then saying that we are missing one of the files that we need. So let's go and see if we can work out how we can get around that. So I'm gonna come out of MAME for a second. What we need to do is we need to find out what file is actually missing. So the way we do that is we need to consult something called the arcade database. So if, if you go to the adb.arcadeitalia.net, you will get to this uh, website here. And this is an incredibly useful resource for your MAME files. And basically what it lets you do, it lets you look up any of the MAME supported games. So we can just use the search one here. So we can search for Aero Fighters. Uh, Aero Fighters 2. Uh, we can see that, that that will come up on the list here, or we can go and search for that. I've already gone to the actual page that we need. So here we are on the Aero Fighters 2 Sonic Wings 2. And this tells you everything there is to know about that game and how it works inside MAME. So we have the game itself here. It tells you that we have, a, it's, it's a game file that we're looking at and it is, it is a parent ROM. Now, if you're not familiar with what parent ROMs and clone ROMs and, and BIOS files and so on are, then do please have a look at my explanation tutorial. And again, I'll put links to that down in the description and also on the main project page. Uh, so that will, that will help you understand how all of these files are organized. But for the moment, I, I'm going to assume that you sort of had a look through that and we're just trying to now work out which files are missing and how we can get hold of them. So if we look a bit further down this page here, you'll see that it tells you lots and lots about the game itself and, and, and various aspects of the game. But what we're interested in is the ROM set. So it tells you when the game was first brought into MAME uh, and when the last release was. But it also starts to tell you then what other files you need. So this particular game then, it, it, it isn't a clone. We've already seen that it is a parent file, but it does require a BIOS. You can see that listed here. And again, if we go down here to the required files area, if we show the main required files, it actually has the game file here. So that's the one that we downloaded from MU Paradise. But we need the second file, which is the Neo Geo. And that actually then, as we saw up here, is the BIOS that is part of the actual cabinet. Um, the Neo Geo was a particular type of cabinet and a number of different games ran on that. So just like you would need some BIOS files for something like your Amiga or, or, or another console like that, then of course we do need the BIOS files for this particular console as well, so the Neo Geo console. So let's go and see if we can find out where that is. So again, we can go back to our um, MU Paradise web, uh, website here. Um, I can then go back into my, my ROMs area. If we let that come up, I can come down to my main ROMs. And we know from our arcade database then, the file we're looking for is neogeo.zip. So if we come back into MU Paradise, it should be under N then. And if we scroll down here, we should find under here our Neo Geo BIOS file. Okay, so if we go across to that, there we have that. And again, we, we, we can then download that file and put that into our MAME installation. So let me just go and do that, and then we can have a look and see if our game will work. So back into my MAME folder, 
And if I just check in my ROMs, there we have our Sonic Wings or Aero Fighters game file and our BIOS file. So if we come back out and then start up MAME, we should find now, hopefully, if we try and run our game, we now have our BIOS coming up. So it's asking us here which BIOS we want to use. We can just simply select any. And that should allow us now to run our game. And there we have things loading up. And again, that will now go in. It will boot up the Neo Geo cabinet. And that should then drop us into our Aero Fighters game. And, and there we are. Now I did say earlier on that it's best to get your MAME ROM set version and your MAME application version matching up. So let's say we had set up our system with the 0.184 um, versions, but we now wanted to upgrade ourselves to the latest version of MAME, which at the time of writing um, or at the time of making this video was 0.255. So I've downloaded the, the latest version here. I've also then in my ROMs folder, I've simply copied across the game files from my 0.184 version. So let's just see if that, um, that makes any difference. So if we go into MAME itself, you can see that we have our Aero Fighters 2 listed there as a game. But obviously, if I try and run that, um, there have been changes made to the ROM files that are being used by the new version. So of course, using the old version ROM files, we now find that we have a range of individual bits and pieces that just are not there. And, and there isn't any way around that using the old ROM file. We simply have to find new ROMs which match in with our current one. Now, Sometimes in the very latest versions, it can be a bit harder to find an updated version of the ROMs, but that doesn't actually um, hold us back. If I come out of MAME and if I go into my browser here, okay, so this um, ROM set here um, is actually a version 0.223 set. And Really what you need to do is if you can't find the exact match for your version of MAME, then we do need to try and then have, a, in effect, the closest match we can get. So this is a slightly older version of the ROM set. Um, but we do then, of course, have a, a Neo Geo file, but this, of course, is newer than the 0.184 ROM set. Now this is where it starts to get a bit hit and miss because um, obviously we don't know at what version number the files inside this BIOS ROM file changed. So we're really just going to have to try and get as close as we can to it and see if that works or not. So I can download this file and put that into my 0 .0, uh, not, not 0.255 main version and we can just then see if it works or not. And again, this is why it is very handy if you do match things to begin with because you then know that the files you are using match with the MAME application that you're using. Uh, a MAME does know which files it expects to get inside each of these zip files and if it doesn't get them obviously then it throws up that error. So let's just copy this one across and just prove to you that that actually does work then. So we're back in our MAME 0.255 with that newer version of the BIOS. And if we run that, again, we come up and we can see then we're going to go now into our game. So that's then working in our latest version of MAME using a slightly older version of our BIOS, but one which does have the new changes embedded in it. And again, you'll, you'll, you'll find that is, is how you need to work through, just trying them out until you get one that works. Again, can't, can't help reinforcing it enough, do try and match the versions because that will just make things so much easier. Now we've seen so far we've looked at a missing BIOS file. And of course, there can be a range of other files that can be missing. So um, if I look at this game here, which is a, a street version of Street Fighter 2, if I come down in the ROM sets here, we can go to the main required files. And if we go in there, you'll see that we actually have the game file itself here. And then we have this Q sound file, which again, it is another 
of these helper files that is needed by this particular game to run. And if you don't have that in your system, then you will go and have to find that. Now, a point on where these game files, where you can actually find them. Now, we, we did mention at the start there, um, MAME, MAME files are organized in, in quite a complex way. And we have what are known as merged files, non-merged files, and split files. And again, do, do have a look through my tutorial on what all that means to, to understand that a bit better. Now, non-merged files try to put all the files that you need together in the one zip file. And if you can find those, those are usually the best ones to look for because this problem of missing files will tend to disappear uh, and, and th that QSound file would tend to be embedded in the game file so that you don't have to go and look for it. Now, if you are missing some files, then to find them, you're best looking for a merged file, uh, a merged ROM set file or, or, or a split ROM set file, which will actually list all the individual zip files out for you so that so you'll be able to go and find those there. So if I if I come across into my into my merged directory here, you'll see that we have all these in here and we should be able to find the Q sound one. So if I do a control F and Q sound, you can see there, there is the Q sound underscore HLE file that we need to get our Hyper Street Fighter um, game up and running. So you still need to download that, put it into your ROM folder and off you go. You will also find sometimes that if the game you want to use is a clone, you will have other files in here which might actually be other game files. So simply work your way through um, if you're missing files, making sure that you get all of these files downloaded. And again, if possible, make sure that they are for the same version of MAME that matches yours. Now, the final thing I want to just go through with this is a, a, a slightly different type of file and it's handled slightly differently. And these are CHD files. So if I, if I look at a game called California Speed, you can see here that that is a game file. It is a parent file, but that it also requires a CHD file. Now, these CHD files are, are called chunk data files. And basically, they are dumps of some part of the filing system. So most, a lot of games had their code embedded in ROM chips, but some of them for larger files, and especially if you think about what we'd use nowadays, there'll be a lot of files which will be stored in some sort of filing system, either on CD or, or DVD, or, or, or some sort of other um, non-ROM based system. And that's where the CHD comes in. So this particular game here, if we scroll down a bit, you can see that we don't need any extra BIOS files and so on. But if we go into the required files, it does require this calspeed.chd file. So we need the game file itself. So again, I can go out to my arcade file here and I can go into my search and I can search for calspeed. And you can see there we have the game file itself listed. But if I come back to my arcade database, you can see that we need this calspeed.chd file. And if I look in my normal archive, and we'll actually find it's, it's not listed there at all. And that's because generally the ROM sets that you get will either be game file ROMs, as we've got here, or you will then have to go and find a separate ROM download for your CHD files. And again, I've, I've found one here which is a CHD files. And as I said, um, I, I can't tell you exactly where they are in this YouTube video, but do check out my um, project page on my main website where I can be a bit more helpful there. But you can see that we have a folder here called CalSpeed. And inside that, we actually have our CHD file. And that's what I need to download. And this idea of it being inside a folder is actually important. And you'll see that it actually is mimicked here when we look at the required files. So we have our game file, but we then need our calspeed.chd file, but it also needs to be inside a calspeed folder. And that is important, otherwise it won't actually work. So let me download those two files. I'm, I'm going to use, because I'm built, uh, the files that I have, these um, ROM sets that I have here are for version point. Uh, two, two, three. So I'm going to set up MAME 
two, two, three. Again, that just makes sure that I can, I'm not having to worry about different versions. And then we'll have a look and see how we put those together, how we save them in there, and then see if we can get that game up and running. So here we are in my main version. And if I go into my ROM folder, you can see that I've downloaded the game file itself. I've then created a folder which has got the same folder name as the game name. And inside that, we then have our CHD file. And, and these CHD files do have to be saved in this format. So they must be in a folder which has the same name as the game zip file. So once we've got that in place, everything should be okay to run that game. So booting up our MAME installation, we come in here, we should find that we have our game listed as being available, and hopefully now we've got everything in place, that should run. And there we have our California Speed booting up, and we should now be able to play that game. So that really covers everything we need to know about fixing our MAME games. So as I said, from the start, do try and make sure that you match versions. Um, matching versions will make things so much easier for you. Once we then get our games up and running, if we find one that's not working, do check the arcade database, find out which zip files you need to download, then download those and put them into the system. CHD files, not, not many games use them, but if you do find that you need one, then do make sure that when you download the file, you put it into a folder with the same name as the game. And that should get everything then up and running. So, I hope you find this useful. Um, I hope if you have some games which aren't working, you're now able to go along, get the files you need, and get those up and running again. If you like what I'm doing here, do please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, click that notification bell so that you find out when the next videos are being released. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. And bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.